Let me tell you a story about resistance. The solidarity movement in Poland, which united people from different backgrounds, brought hope for a breakthrough. The words of John Paul II were a spark of inspiration to organize protests against the communist authorities. Hope filled the hearts of millions of Poles. The communists wanted to brutally stifle it, announcing martial law. Obywatelki i obywatele, ogłaszam stan wojenny na obszarze całego kraju. But we had the courage to say no. A candle in the window became a symbol of our hope, against which the communists wielded oppression and terror. Awanturnikom trzeba skrępować ręce, zanim wtrącą ojczyznę otchłań bratobójczej walii. We did not have weapons, but we had our dignity. And that was enough to resist. The strikers at the Wujek coal mine were brutally pacified, while a thousand Piast miners protested underground for 14 days. When their inner fires started to fade, people reignited it anew by protesting in the streets. Our shouts reached the President of the United States. A lighted candle will burn in the White House window as a small but certain beacon of our solidarity with the Polish people. And the Polish Pope in the Vatican, which gave us the courage to stand up against oppression. But in attacking solidarity, its enemies attack an entire people. People showed us support around the world. We fought even when solidarity was outlawed, and despite the censorship that devoured our freedom of expression. Prisons were filled with innocent victims. The murder of a high school student, Grzegorz Przemek, triggered a wave of protests. The charismatic priest, Jerzy Popiełuszko, conducted so-called masses for the homeland that gathered enormous crowds. For this, he paid the highest price. The church was part of the resistance. We didn't lose hope as long as the spiritual heart of the nation was still beating. Thousands of pilgrims traveled to Yasnagura despite martial law. There were attempts to block John Paul II from visiting Poland. But the Pope found a way to visit later anyway and pressured authorities to end martial law. We came out of this nightmare beaten and bruised, but we still remained hopeful for what laid ahead.